what is going on guys? It's going to be a good day today. I've got a fair bit to get done, so I thought I'd take you for the ride. We're going to do a few op shops, um, then we're going to go back. I've got a collection at about 10 o'clock in the morning, so it's about 9 o'clock now. Um, we'll get one op shop in, I'll shoot home, we will do that pickup. I'm basically today just going to take you through my day. So. It's a lot happening, big to-do list, but I think you'll get a bit out of it. It'll give you a bit of an insight into what a full-time reseller day in the life looks like. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. All right, stop number one. We've found some absolute gold, which I'm stoked about. So I found these. So they're a pair of ASICs GT2000, oh, 2000 actually, GT2000s. Um, they're a US 8 and I've paid a total of $4. So should do pretty well on those, quick win. Um, also found another pair of shoes, which I'm pretty happy about. These ones here. So there's another pair of ASICs GT2170. Um, look, they're in pretty good condition. They're a US 11, so they're gonna sell pretty well from a, a size perspective. Um, soles are looking pretty good on the bottom and these ones came to three dollars so when you see a pair of asics for three bucks you just grab them so the other ones were four dollars so i've paid seven dollars for two pairs of asics and just finally bang levi strauss so a good pair of jeans these are a size length 34 waist 36 obviously a really good pair no rips or tears no stains they're in really good quality and I paid, I don't know if you can see, I don't think you can see it. Anyway, it's $3. So I've paid in total, in the first op shop we've gone to for the day, I've paid in total 10 bucks. 10 bucks for two pairs of shoes and a pair of jeans. Should make some pretty good money pretty quickly on these ones. I'm gonna throw them up on Facebook Marketplace when we get back later today. I do need to race home though, so we're gonna tear home. I've got a pickup for a dressing table. I'm gonna try and take some footage of that collect. Um, but yeah, let's get going. I've got a really good feeling about this op shop number two for the day. Um, just pulled out the front, there is a lot of stuff. I'm sitting right out the front of it now. I'm keen to get stuck into it. I'm gonna jump in right now and I'm gonna bring back my results. Hopefully there's some absolute gems. See you soon. Man, that was an absolute bust. No luck, no gold. So what happens though, sometimes you don't get them. Sometimes they just don't work. All right, so we're gonna go on to number number three. Hopefully we can find something in the third op shop of the day. I'm gonna try and get about five done today. Uh, fingers crossed we can get some good stuff. Man, that first op shop, that was so good. Two pairs of shoes, pair of jeans. Unfortunately, we've just struck out in number two, but Feeling good about today though. I'm still thinking we're gonna find some good stuff. I've got a few more op shops pretty close by. So let's see how we go.
could have gone either way, I reckon. I like the Socceroos jumper. It was $10 though. So I was probably not thinking $10 was the right point to be purchasing at. Five, I probably would have bought it. Um, you know, could be a loss, but we'll hold that. Um, and then the shoes. The shoes were pretty good at $8. The footy boots are a good one. A good brand of ASICs. Um, but again, there was just some wear on them. The soles weren't that great. Um, I really try and look for good quality. These probably weren't up to that scratch, so I've said no to those as well. And really, in that one just then, that was they were the only two items I could find. So we've done three op shops now. My first one was a cracker. Second one, really no good at all. And then that one, I could have struck, but I've just said no. So let's push on to number four. was really the jeans were like 25 30 40 dollars for a pair of jeans which was absolutely horrid um the shoes as well they're all like 20 30 40 bucks for a pair of shoes some really good shoes in there but i just can't spend that much money it's got to be between you know five to ten dollars max um so i was pretty shattered with the the pricing in there for some things i did actually buy some things though so boof, how good's that so this is a roadrunner movie world plush toy it's got the metal uh, in the neck and in the tail as well so it's worth a bit of value in this i've had a quick check on ebay and i reckon i can get about 20 to 30 dollars for that one um total cost for this guy was six dollars um also got these which i think will go pretty well there's a couple of golfing polos uh, this one's from Adidas. I paid seven dollars for that one. I think minimum 15, but maybe 20. I'll, I'll do the comps a bit later, but actually I'll throw them up here so you can have a bit of a look. But yeah, seven dollars, really good polo, no marks or creases in them. I reckon that'll sell well too. And then I found this other one as well, another golfing polo. This one was only six dollars, but it's Calvin Klein. Um, really nice. I think it'll sell well. You can just tell it's a good make. Um, really nice material. No hems or, or you know issues with the hemming or anything like that in there. They're, they're pretty legit. Um, so all in all, two polos, a Roadrunner plush, paid 19. We're up to 29 spent for the day. Let's see how it all goes. Stop number five, I've just finished up. Stop number five, I've gone okay. What did we get? So yeah, I bought the Mercurials. I bought the Cristiano Ronaldo 7s. Um, so not too bad. They were in really good condition. They were $15. When I buy footy boots, it's generally five to 10, just like any other shoe. But I've done a quick search on these and the comps look pretty good. I reckon there's gonna be a few dollars. I'm gonna try and list these up at around the 40 to $50 mark. Um, so when you take obviously the cost, it's probably going to be about maybe $20, $30, $40 profit I'm hoping on these bad boys. Um, so the CR7s, couldn't say no, Nike always a great brand. And then I found this thing and I don't know, I just, I just liked it. It just looked like a really cool design, really funky. I asked the guy in the shop if he could try it out on, a, um, on, his, on his desk just to see if it would work. And sure enough, it came on and it worked completely fine. So. Um, look, I paid seven dollars. It's um, it's just a single lamp. There wasn't a set of them. It was just the one. I figure it might suit somebody really well at their place. Um, and then I'm hoping I can get maybe twenty, thirty bucks for it. I don't know. But it was only seven. It's been a relatively slow day on the pick, so I'm pretty happy to grab that and see how we go. So the last two op shops, I've got about five items, and um, we're slowly ticking along today. It's not not going too bad now. Um, I'm going to shoot back home. We're going to do that collect um, for that sale at about three o'clock and then I'm going to jump straight into the listings. So um, I'm actually, I'm pretty hungry. I'm going to go get some food. So we'll see you in the next one.
Alright guys, so I'm back home. I've pretty much got everything out here on the bed. Um, so I was really stoked to get those Levi Strauss jeans. I really think that lamp's going to go well. I think it looks pretty cool. Someone's going to love that. Obviously the shoes that I bought with the Levi Strauss, I bought these two. Um, obviously Roadrunner, that'll score a bit. Uh, the Mercurials and then the two golfing polos. I think they'll go well too. So all in all, $51 spent. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so I've just had lunch. It's about one o'clock. Um, got all my op shops done. I got five op shops in and I was able to pick up, yeah, I mean, seven or eight items. So I'm pretty happy with those. I may as well give you a bit of a tour about how I, or well, show you how I set things up at home. Um, so this is my bedroom that I'm in at the moment. It's where I do, I guess, all my photography and all, all of my listings. Um, that right there is where I basically sit down and start taking all the photos. Uh, I'll use that as a photo desk and I'll also use it as just an office desk where I start to do my listings as well. Um, the I've got some storage room. I'm fortunate to have a bit of a balcony space outside. Um, so it's quite a large space um, and I use it to house all my sort of stock. So as you can see there, I've got a couple of pieces of furniture that are still to sell. Um, it's, it's a pretty big space if you pull back. So there's a lot of room in here. I can fit quite a bit of stuff. Um, I'm in a really good spot here. Um, so that helps because you need a place to store all your stuff. Um, so that really works well for me. And then everyone's got a good death pile. My death pile is in the spare bedroom. Um, so I'll take you in there for a bit of a look. So here it is here. An absolute mess, but an organized mess. It's actually not all stuff that I'm trying to sell. It's just a, a messy room. The stuff that I'm trying to sell is kept in here. So I've got this cupboard where anything that I'm actually trying to sell, I'm putting into this cupboard. Um, that everything that you just saw before, that's more of a, just a death pile that we really need to sort out. There's a few trips to the salvos in there because a lot of the stuff isn't actually good to sell. Um, but in here, um, I've got t-shirts. And then down below, I've got all my shoes down there too. Um, so I pretty much just keep everything in there. And then once it sells, my production line would take me back outside, out of my room. Um, and it'll take me along here. So I've pretty much got everything lined up, ready to go. So that's pretty much just a little snapshot walk around. It's all done upstairs in, in my place, um, out, of, out of my bedroom basically. So anyone at home, you know, saying they don't have enough space to do this. Um, you know, you definitely can. I do it all out of my bedroom. Um, and I think a lot of other people do. So just something to take note of. G'day mate. Good, you? Oh. <laughs> you need one of these, eh? Oh, there you go, my friend. Uh, yeah. How good, eh? Uh, oh. oh, really? <laughs> Yeah, nice. My missus said, come on, I'll take you up to Harbour Town. No, no, I'll just get them online. <laughs> people grow out of them, whatever. Absolutely. That's what Facebook Marketplace is there for. People's clothes. I said, wash them, what the... <laughs> <laughs> no, you're a good man. Thank you, mate. Thank you, mate. Enjoy those. That, no worries. Hi there. Hey, how, how are you? Oh, yeah, no worries. My partner came and picked it up. No, no, that's okay. That's all good. No worries at all. Oh, it's a good top. You'll love it. Right, so I was just in the middle of doing all of my listings and I've teed up a few um, Facebook Marketplace pickups um, just from the front door here. So um, literally within the space of probably about 20 minutes, I had three pickups come through, which you've just obviously seen then. Um, so that's typically the way I like to do the day is I like to go and grab all the items in the morning that are brand new. Um, and then anything that is interested in being picked up or obviously sold, um, I plan it for the afternoon. So, you know, two, three, four o'clock in the afternoon, I could be up here working away on the laptop, grab the items from where I showed you before and literally just take them downstairs, hand them over and get the cash. So that's typically the way I like to do things. Everyone's different, but I think it's a really good idea to plan when people come to the house to collect. If you can get everyone coming at the same time, like I said, three in the space of an hour, I'm not really having to wait around and you know take time out of my day to fulfill these orders. They come to me all at the same time. I fulfill them all and I can get back, back into my listing and my photos. So that's probably the best way to do it.
And so it's about 4.30, I think, at the moment, and I thought my day was done, and then I've just jumped on Facebook Marketplace for a quick scroll, and the notify me button went off on a furniture piece. Um, and I'm, what I'm actually going to go and pick up, I've already messaged her, she's already said I can have it. It's a small cabinet or a small chest of drawers. Um, I'll show you, obviously I'll show you in a minute what it looks like when I go and pick it up, but it's only about a 15 minute drive. I think I can get about 150, maybe 120, um, and I'm buying it for $50. So, you know, this is a really good end to the day. I think, you know, on Facebook Marketplace, the afternoon and the evening is the best time to be looking on Marketplace. People finish work and they want to list their items. So, you know, I always put an eye out. I've come home, I've been to the post office, I thought my day was done. And then we get a good piece of Facebook Marketplace furniture. I love a furniture bit. Anyway, I'm gonna go get it. Uh, I'll show you it when I get it. And I'll tell you what I think I'm gonna get for it once I've had a good look at it, all right? All right, guys, so I'm back home. Have a look at this beauty to end the day. I found a small chest of drawers. I reckon this is gonna do well. It was a red pine and she's refurbed it. So she's just put her own color patterns on it to fit the, and match the furniture in her place. So some really cool coloring. And I don't know, I just think this one's gonna sell well. I paid 50 bucks and I'm gonna try and get 150 for it. I reckon I can make $100. So if that's the case, this has been a very good end to the day. Um, guys, thank you very much, very much, I should say, for watching. Um, let me know in the comments below. Please subscribe as well. But let me know what your thoughts are on this style of video. It's been a big day. There's been a lot of information, um, a lot of stuff to take in. I hope you've enjoyed it. But um, comments below on what you want to see, I guess, out of this channel moving forward would be great. Other than that, thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.